the children around me was but discriminating me about the operation that I had. Well, me and my mom didn't get well together because of my of my sexuality. My mom wasn't really getting well with my sisters. You know, in some time, like I noticed my mom like crying. Hi, I'm Tammy Dix. I am a trauma support coordinator for ER24 and I do trauma counselling for Chris Harney Arts and Cultural School. We deal with a lot of gender-based violence or domestic violence at home, a lot of bullying with other students, homophobic behaviour at home and some substance abuse. What happened is that my teachers noticed that my grades were dropping. I didn't want to tell her what was happening, so she, she organized him to come and talk to me and gave me a session. She told me that I should focus at school. And then I should ask my mom, like, and sit with my mom and my, my sisters. She said to me, I must not listen to everyone that is coming to me and telling me about what is happening to me. She told me that like, I should try to make my mother understand why I am like this and why did I choose to be this way. Everybody experiences the same type of trauma just in a different way, which is real for them. If we want to change things, it starts with us. I am the link between um, learners and services. So what I do whenever there's a learner that's, that is in need with something, so I have to call the relevant person to help that, uh, that learner. Yolandi is a learner support, so she sees the students during the day, um, during the week, and then I'm here every Thursday um, during the course of the school day. And then they'll, they'll line up the, the learners for me so that I get to, to deal with them on a, on a more psychological level. Mostly it's um, mental health issues, substance abuse, maybe one of the learners was raped or is feeling uncomfortable in class, or maybe one was robbed on the, on the way from the, to school, on the way from home to school. After talking with him, I don't really have any, I know, everything like goes like smooth. She put herself in my shoes and then she didn't judge me like she knew what I was needed. That's what I like about it. I, I, could, I wouldn't be able to talk to my mom. I wouldn't be able to approach her and tell her about my sexuality. But after I attended the counselor, she, made, she told me how to approach my mom and how to tell her. She boosted my confidence a lot because now I can stand firm and courageous. She was the one that, wa that I was be able to express my feelings to her and, and try to, to lift me up again. I'm great that I approached her because she gave me the advice that I, I needed the most. The only person that we can work with is the person sitting in front of us highlighting certain situations and how we react to certain scenarios and things that happen within our surroundings. By focusing on their self-confidence, not allowing anybody to overstep any sort of boundaries, not putting themselves in certain situations which will allow for things like that to happen. If, if I didn't speak with them, I, I, don't, I don't think I would have achieved what I've achieved now. Now, they boosted my, I'm up now, like, I'm happy, I'm feeling great.